the culture. You know, it's all about the culture. The, you know, we always have this logo, the standard is the standard. Well, the culture that exists now in Pittsburgh isn't the standard of the Pittsburgh Steelers, and that's, that starts with Mike Tomlin. You know, Mike Tomlin had to find a way to, you know, get some reorder, and re, you know, get some more rules and regulations in place to make sure that you hold everybody accountable. And that goes for Antonio Brown. It goes for Big Ben Roethlisberger, you know, having this radio station calling out guys. You know, that's not conducive to winning football. It's not conducive to winning championship. At the end of the day, it's about the brotherhood of guys. And if you got a problem with me, come talk to me face to face. I'm not out there in the media, you know. Uh, and AB, hey, if you got a problem, let's talk. Let's sit down, have a beer, let's talk over it and stuff. It's all about building a team and getting them back together, the team aspect of it, rather than the individual side. I just think AB is a phenomenal receiver. I think we all know that, but it's just the stuff that comes with AB. Sometimes it's getting tiresome of a lot of people, but AB sometimes I think is just misunderstood. You know, sometimes he doesn't know how to reach out to guys. So uh, for me, there's a little maturity factor into it. You know, um, but at the same time, I just I don't want AB to be labeled like some of the other guys before him. Be more of a about him and less about the team because that's just a bad. You don't want that out there about you. If you're all about yourself out there, it's hard to get picked up by anybody else in the league. So uh, he's a phenomenal talent, one of the best receivers in the game today. I just wish that the Steelers and A.B. can find a way to get it together and sit down in the room and, and overcome. If you look at Georgia, the, 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 the talent that we have in the league that we put, in, put out year in and year out, I mean, I look at it, man, you got Gurley and Sony Michelle. It doesn't get better than that competing for a Super Bowl title, man. Unfortunately, one of those guys has to lose, but uh, they're both winners, in my opinion. And all the Georgia guys, I'm like the Papa Smurf of the Georgia world. All my baby pups everywhere, man. I want them all to have success. So uh, anytime we can get together, I see them, man. I always give them some love and advice and stuff like that. So I wish both of those guys nothing but the best. And all the Georgia guys that's playing in the league, playing in the Super Bowl, today, uh, this upcoming weekend. I wish them nothing but the best. Hyundai and I, man, it was crazy. The partnership that I got with Hyundai brought Ed Reed and I together. I mean, we did a project together during uh, the, the regular season, man, which was amazing when the Steelers and Baltimore Ravens play. But really, you know, helping Hyundai promote the shopper uh, insurance program, but really find a way to make it easier to buy in cars. I think for people who've never bought a car before, you don't have to deal with the hassle and bustle of dealing with the slick salesman and stuff like that. We want to make it easier and convenient for all the for all the customers out there shopping for cars. But also, you got to check out the Hyundai's YouTube page, man. Jason Bateman, super funny. They just came out with a new Super Bowl ad commercial, man. You got to tune into it, YouTube it, check it out. It will play in the first quarter of the Super Bowl, man. So I'm happy to be a part of Team Hyundai.